everybody what's going on just back here with a new video um so today i have something over pierre polyev it looks like his um his uh, media team created another ad just absolutely destroying mark carney who just joined the liberal party uh, now before i do get into that i just want to please re uh, remind you to subscribe and like this video and the channel uh, it does really help me uh grow as well as um, it does help with the um, engagement. The YouTube algorithm really seems to like that. So it helps push out the videos as well. Um, and also, please don't forget to comment because I do enjoy the, uh, the channel engagement as well. So let's get into this quick video here. It's just a minute long, but it is uh, it is pretty funny. It's look, it's an exciting time. It is an exciting time for Canada. It's estimated up to 300,000 Canadians have experienced homelessness over the past year. Halifax is approved and cabin sites are overflowing. The average rent in our country hitting an all-time high in the month of May, topping $2,200 a month for the first time ever. It is an exciting time for Canada. I feel like I've been priced out, like I'm stuck in my apartment, I can't move out anymore. And a two-bedroom place is like $2,800. How am I supposed to afford that? Banks across the country are experiencing overwhelming demand. As the cost of living continues to rise, lines at food banks in Montreal are getting longer. Yeah, it's, the food is outrageous. My weekly grocery shop for every week is just skyrocketing. See, like, everything is more expensive. It's, look, it's an exciting time. It is an exciting time for Canada. Yeah, and I mean, it's kind of been said a lot, but when Mark Carney comes in and says it's, it's an exciting time for Canada, it's just like Melanie Jolie and Justin Trudeau and Christian Freeland saying, oh, Can Canadians don't want an election. Canadians are happy and they're excited about the Liberal Party. And then you look at the polls and you see the Conservatives at like 45%. And it's like, uh, obviously, Canadians aren't very happy. Now, what's also crazy about this is you see a lot of those people at the food banks, as much as I do have sympathy for those people, people who live in big cities mostly vote for liberal. And that's why I say that liberal, liberal ideology isn't even um, ideology anymore. Sorry about that. One second. It's not liberal ideology anymore. It's basically just a virus. Like, how could you possibly need to go to a food bank when you're working full time just to get food and then go to the ballot box and vote for the liberal candidate. It makes no sense, but that's what brainwashing looks like. And that's what happened. That's what's happening to all these liberals conservatives sometimes too. But I mean, you just see all this nonsense about, Oh yeah, no, I, I love Justin Trudeau. Well, he's destroying the economy. He's destroying the country. There's not enough houses. There's too many people coming into the country. Crime skyrocketing. How could you even say that? Well, um, well, uh, Pierre Polyev's just like Trump. What? Well, because they have slogan. Does Pierre Polyev want to build a wall? No. Does he want to come after uh, abortion rights? No. Liberals, he does not. He hasn't said it once. And then you also have um, the, um, what am I, sorry, it's the, uh, you know, you look at like the the way that Pierre Polyev speaks. It's like, yeah, he's, he's you know, uh, he likes to get after it sometimes for sure. But I mean, if you go back to what some of the things that Trump said, I mean, Pierre Polyev is not nearly as uh, foul mouth as Donald Trump. Grab him by the, you know what? I've never heard Pierre Polyev. I've never even heard a rumor about of Pierre Polyev speaking like that. So I don't, I, I don't really understand where it's coming from. I understand why you see these liberals talking about, oh, it's American style politics on the right, as they use American style politics strategies. Look at what Justin Trudeau and Kamala Harris are saying. It's very, very similar, isn't it? Everyone on the rights from Russia and their Russian assets, yada, 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 just before a major election. So if you are liberal and you listen, I mean, I just please explain to me like what the actual thought is. Like, are you are you brainwashed? Like, have you been indoctrinated just to think that everyone on the right is evil or everyone to the right of you is evil? I'm just it's really confusing. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. But I mean, you know, you're, you're allowed to vote for whoever you want. It's just if you if you vote for a party who is clearly trying to destroy the country, if you really look at what's happening, it there are going to be people who look at you like you're a traitor. I don't know if I'd go that far, but I understand where they're coming from because it's like they, they see you going to the ballot box, voting for a guy who is making things unaffordable, 
he's not talking at all about the the, the chemicals and all this crap in our food. Now, to be fair, Pierre Paul has, isn't either, which is why I personally don't think he's actually a great candidate. I think he's better than Trudeau, so I'm going to vote for him. But he's not talking. He's not talking about ending you know, certain wars. He's not talking about the crap that's in our food. So I mean, but that, the the thing that you get with conservatives though is that you it they tend to make things more affordable, and they actually punish criminals, and they control the the migration. And when you don't have those things, you see what's happening now. The conservatives are way better under Stephen Harper. It was Canada was a safe and affordable place to live. It is not anymore. So yeah, we do need someone to be fiscally conservative, and that's really the biggest reason that Pierre Polyev is is ahead right now, big time, by the way. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I do appreciate. It. I know I'm cutting it a little bit short, but I have to get back to work. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please again, don't forget to like and subscribe because it does help me grow, and leave your comments as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will be back shortly with a new video.